Welcome back. I said welcome back to the Tacomaholic channel, everybody. Today we will be covering a few hidden costs associated with adding a winch to your Tacoma. Now I'm sure you have heard of all the things I'll be talking about today, but maybe you forgot about them while searching around for your winch. And as you will see as we go through the video, the price of these things can add up quickly. And I'd hate for you guys to have a rude awakening after being all excited from installing your winch. And if I was smart, I would have done my homework and figured out the exact price and how much money I spent on the things I'll be talking about today, but I'm not smart. I totally forgot, so I will give you a ballpark as we go through the video, and I'll put the exact price, I'll make it appear on the screen when each item comes up. And of course, everything I'm gonna be talking about today is regardless of whatever type of winch you are using. These are all accessories used to pair and play well with whatever winch you go with, which of course you will see when you're doing your research, already quite a price discrepancy from the top to the bottom. First up on the list, and one of the most important, I think, is whether or not you will be doing a synthetic line upgrade for your winch. Synthetic meaning it's pretty much like a synthetic rope versus the standard steel cable, which I don't have to tell you guys, having the steel cable, harder to maintain, much more dangerous if it snaps, take your head off if you're standing in the wrong spot. So if I remember correctly, the synthetic line upgrade for my Smitty Bilt 9.5 winch was about a hundred bucks and not only yeah it's a, it's more expensive obviously but it should last longer easier to take care of and another added benefit aside from all the safety features i just mentioned is it's probably going to save you about 25 or 30 pounds of weight which is certainly nice considering all the other heavy stuff we add to our trucks and since we are speaking about weight, have you considered upgrading the springs on your front coilovers by now? If you're adding a winch, you probably have a front bumper, which is gonna add 100 to 130 pounds, depending on what brand you go with, of course. And adding the winch with a steel line, easily another 60 to 80 pounds. Like I just mentioned, the synthetic line will save you a bit of weight, but you're adding a couple hundred pounds to the front of your truck. Upgrading your springs to get rid of some of that sag might it's not going to lift your truck, but it's gonna keep you from, say, dropping about a half inch to an inch. Definitely worth it, depending on what springs you go with, obviously, probably expect to spend about $200 for a heavier spring rate. Always gotta be something. Next up on the list is certainly more of a cosmetic upgrade, but you might consider upgrading your fair lead on your winch. Now, of course, it will come with one. Here is what my spitting belt came with. Look at that, that is chrome, that is hideous. If you guys are like me, you hate chrome on your trucks, and just having this plastered to the center of your bumper will ruin the effect. So I went with this sweet gunmetal. It is a Factor 55 fair lead. These are certainly not cheap for something that's mostly a cosmetic upgrade. I wanna say this one was about 80 bucks on Amazon. And that reminds me, I will of course put links for everything I'm talking about in the description below for specific equipment I'm running. But you gotta admit, it definitely blends in nicely and looks wicked with the bumper. Next on the list is a hook upgrade. I totally forgot to bring the factory hook that my winch came with, but I am running the Warren Epic hook. I specifically went for this because my buddy Eat Sleep Tacos is running the same one on his truck. And what I like about it is the actual hook opening, mouth, whatever you wanna call it right here is easily large enough to fit through a few shackles, hard shackles, soft shackles, you name it, because of the opening right there is much larger than the factory winch, probably at least, uh, probably about two times larger, so it makes it much easier to get things into position when you're using it on the trail. Again, these are not cheap. This specific one has been discounted on Amazon recently by about 20%, I think. If I remember correctly, I spent 75 bucks on this. And another popular thing to go with if you don't want to do the hook is the flat link which can pull back in and sort of it'll stick out where you attach your hooks and then it'll fold down when not in use. I think those are a little more expensive though so just keep that in mind. Next up on the list is either a winch blanket or a winch bag, pouch, whatever you want to call it. This one is specifically from Gear America. This is literally just something to put over the middle of your winch line when you are winching. More so for if you're running the steel winch cables so if they do snap the added weight of this will make it drop to the ground versus just whipping out and going back towards the winch. What I like about this one, it Velcros on the bottom so you can just run the winch line right there in the middle and drape it over like a saddlebag. And of course, each side opens up with a Velcro pouch. 
So you can put shackles, hard shackles, soft shackles, all kinds of winch recovery gear in here so it's ready to use. And of course it has a nice handle on the front, ready to go in case of emergency. These are usually just about 20 or 25 bucks. And you can get kits of these that come with shackles and all that other gear as well, obviously for a little more. Always good to have at least an extra set of shackles. Uh, most guys usually run at least one on the front. I know I do to have my hook attached to it to keep it from swinging around. And some guys run one off the rear bumper as well on their recovery points. A good set of these is usually about 20, 25 bucks. I have a few sets I just keep in the winch storage bag right there. Maybe not necessarily for myself, but of course if one of these broke, well, that's gonna be a bad day for sure since these are usually rated at like 30,000 pounds before they snap or something like that. But you know, there's always one guy on the trail who doesn't have an equipment, so you can just loan out some of yours. And I would definitely recommend picking up some type of soft shackle. These work just like hard shackles. You just open up the mouth right there, slide the knotted ball through. This is much safer, of course. These are ridiculously strong, probably stronger than what you think, just like with these steel shackles. 30, 35,000 pounds, something like that. I have noticed they are usually a little more expensive, I guess because the materials and the cost associated with making them a little longer, but these are definitely a safer and stronger alternative to the regular steel shackles. And I would definitely recommend picking up either a winch pulley like this one. This one is from 7P Recovery. Put a link for this in the description below. This is a fantastic item specifically to use with synthetic lines. See it is grooved right there, so you run the line over that. Obviously the synthetic line is not gonna eat this up. Steel line, you don't wanna use this because this is aluminum, it will get eaten up in no time. So if you are running a steel line instead of this, you could of course run a snatch block, which I actually don't have since I'm specifically running this with my synthetic line. Probably about 30 to $40 for a good snatch block. All right, getting close to the end here. Next up is a tree saber strap. This does exactly what it sounds like. You wrap it around the tree with the padded part right here and it will save the bark of the tree when you are pulling on it from getting destroyed by your winch line. This one specifically is from ARB, and you know ARB makes tons of quality products. You're gonna pay for that price though. I think this one was about 60 bucks. And in addition to protecting the tree, this is 16 feet long, so if you fold it in half wrapping around the tree, also serves as an eight foot extension to your winch line. And of course, perhaps just as an insurance policy, grab yourself an extension for your winch line. Again, this one's from ARB. This is a 30 foot extension. And I wanna say two and a half inches wide, super strong. If you grab one of these, you probably never need to use it, but if you don't, your winch line, when you need it most, is gonna be just a little bit short, I guarantee it. Just like with the tree saver strap, these are usually about 60 bucks. All right, everybody, as you can see, this stuff quickly adds up, easily adding at least a few hundred dollars of winch accessories to help you maximize the potential of your winch. If I presented something on this list that you completely forgot about and you plan on grabbing, comment below and let me know. Also, let me know if I left off anything you think is important off the list. I forget things sometimes. It happens, especially the older I get. As always, thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching this video. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you in the next video.